Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, we're Stephen Gamer. So let's talk Art of Conquest, guys. Let's talk about the new update that just uh, happened a couple of days ago. It was a pretty big one, man. It was huge. Some things I liked, some things I didn't like. Um, I guess let's begin with, first of all, the, the biggest thing that they kind of implemented was the new king system. Uh, if you don't know how to vote for a king, don't forget... You have to be, I think, either a lord or you have to be a governor, right, of the city to vote. That's kind of how it works. Uh, that's why I can't really vote. As you can see, there's no option for me to vote here. For my kingdom right now, they are voting for this girl, Ava. So, Eva. We'll see how that goes. Quick news real quick. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm now in yellow, guys. Server 18, we transferred to yellow. If you missed my live stream on Sunday... What's happened was we were on green. Hail Hyrule! I loved saying that, by the way. We were on green. One of the houses in green, Radiant, did not get along with everybody else. They stole a couple of our big, big cities, all right? So what happened is we transferred to yellow now. We are going to try to salvage what we got here in yellow and try to kick they assholes. Legend is going to destroy them, I think. Um, that's the goal for this one, guys. Let's go on back to the update now. The king system seems really cool. I actually enjoy it. You can have a different king each week. So every week you can vote for another king. Uh, the city's laid out right there as you can see. We don't have a big one yet. New kingdom right here. We're going to try to work our way up for now. So Ava, if you're watching this, if you're listening to me, anybody listening to me, tell Ava to do a good job, goddammit. Here, your king can actually pick a crown prince and you can actually pick um, chancellors. Uh, Magisters, Bishop, First Sword, they are also going to get some nice boosts. As you can see, each position that you hold will give you special powers, guys. Enhanced um, resources, enhanced building, all that stuff is going to be good. And then so on and so forth. That Chancellor will be able to pick uh, three Ambassadors. One Ambassador, a General, a Treasurer. So each position comes with its own perks. I'm kind of digging that a lot. There's going to be a lot of positioning in the kingdom now. So you're going to have to be a good negotiator. Don't just be a fucking bum. Get out there and negotiate with people, man. Tell them what you're all about. Show them your power. That's how you do it, guys. So that kind of completes the king uh, update of it. It's complicated, but it's simple in the way, all right? Moving on here. All right, so the next big thing they uh, implemented in this new update was a hero exchange, guys. So if you didn't already know, uh, what you can do now is you can exchange one hero for somebody else. The only catch is you cannot exchange the free-to-play heroes. So that's kind of where they get you. What they want you to do is if you happen to have purchased a hero, now you have a chance to exchange him for another purchase hero. So as you can see here, I have Elena, right? She's a purchase hero, which means you have to pay to get her. I can change her. For another hero. Uh, the hero that you can choose from, there's no really... You can choose from anybody. You can choose from the free-to-play heroes or the pay-to-play heroes. So Rufio is a free-to-play hero. I can choose him because I already have Avalon and I already have Avril, alright? And then here's your choices for everybody else. If you somehow chose um, Gafar, let's say, and you didn't really like him... And you want to change it for somebody else. This is a great way. I love this one. You can implement, you know, you can change your heroes around. I enjoy this one a lot. You know, this is a good update that I think uh, they did a good job at. Um, now, in my opinion here, let's just take a look really quickly here. Uh, Teadrin is a great hero. She's great countering Lich. Bane is great at uh, tank. He's such a good tank, man. Valeri, I don't really like her too much, to be honest. Um... And then Rose is great for the spiders. If you Lich, go with Rose. Cleo is a great spider as well. That's pretty much the heroes that I would go with if I wanted to change. I like Elena. Let's talk about Elena a little bit further now because I feel like she was certainly... Man, she was nerfed in one way, if you ask me. She was nerfed and then she was also boosted, alright? So it's kind of the best of both worlds because uh, I kind of based a lot of my strategy on Elena here. So let's take a look now. Let's go to her abilities here. All abilities have been completely changed around. If you didn't know, every hero's abilities have pretty much changed around. Only like Avril stayed the same, I think, or a few others. But hers has changed around a lot. So her first ability before used to be Call of the Calvary. As you know, Call of the Calvary was her best ability. When you go into the battle, you can call a bunch of freaking, you know, horsemen, lancers onto the battlefield and they would help you out a lot. But now check this out. They made this her second ability and also it cost one energy to use. That is a huge nerf. Man, I hate that. I don't know why they nerfed that. 
I freaking hate it a lot. Uh, her first ability now is strategic, strategic Retreat. That's... I don't think that's a great ability, to be honest. Saving Lives. This is another one. You can kind of pair this up with... Um, with Vega and it could help you out, you know, in some situations, but I still don't think you should put a lot of, you know what I mean, your ability points on that. So for right now, this is what I'm going with with my Elena, all right? Cavalry Specialist, because I'm still rolling with Humanoids, uh, Cavalry, I got the Crusaders, Templars, all that good stuff. So I'm rolling with this one, I'm gonna max this out as much as you can. Uh, and also Magic Resistance, this is where I said they boosted her, this is why I think they boosted her. Check this out, this is a great ability, wow, it's a sick ability, guys. So, um, what happens is now her magical bloodline empowers her to resist magic from your opponents, alright? So, magic damage taken by all allied units is reduced. At this point, at level 2, it's by 22%. At level 3, 33%. If you can max this out, this will be a crazy, crazy magic res. Um, the only <laughs> catch is, look at this, the next ability, when you get to level 3, it costs you 9 ability points. And then I can only imagine at level 4 is probably like 15 or something like that. So it's going to be really hard to finish that one off. Um, so right now I'm rolling with Cavalry Specialist and Magic Res for my Elena, All right. So I still feel like they nerfed her a little bit because now this ability, Cavalry, you know, you need one energy to use. So you can't use that as much as you used to before. But they also boosted her with her Magic Res, right? So it's a take and a give situation there. I still enjoy her. I still like her. I st Still think she's going to be a really uh, cool hero. All right, let's quickly take a look at Avalon here. The Hope of Silverwind. This guy was probably he was the best hero in the game before. So let's see if he still keeps that number one spot. So Arrow Volley now is still exactly the same thing. Targets a uh, you know a volley of flaming arrows. It's the same. Nothing has really changed on that. So actually, let me just go ahead and give him that. Um, Second ability here, Summon Archers. This one is kind of like Elena where it costs one energy to summon your archers. Uh, I think this is not a cool ability. kind of sucks. You don't want to use your energies that easily, man. Look, you only get about seven energies a day if you let it go all night long. Wasting them on one ability like that, you really can only use them in like two or three battles in that case. Kind of sucks. I don't like that at all. I think it's pretty bad. But look at this ability here. This is why I think he's still the best hero in the game. Warhorn. It's probably the best ability in the game. When he takes the battlefield, Avalon blows his horn, increasing the attack speed of nearby allies by 20% for 8 seconds. Uh, this is level 3. 30% with 8 seconds at level 4. That is a sick ability, guys. Increasing speed, attack speed to begin the battle. Uh, that is awesome. First of all, second of all, uh, Archer Master, if you are humanoid, you use archers, everybody does. This will come in handy, increases their attack and their HP. So that is really, really good. Uh, let's see, um, Ardent Aura, another great ability here. All humanoid allies will get their max hit points increased by 10% at level 4. This is another sick ability. So this guy is the master of humans here. Natural leader as before. They made this the final ability here because it was so good. But you really only need to put just one level into this I feel like. Uh, maxing this out will definitely help you with your supply cap. Get more troops on the battlefield. But just getting 3 you know, an additional troop on the battlefield is good enough, all right? So I just ended up putting one ability into leader. Um, and then I went with Archer Mastery, you know, Ardent Aura, and my Warhorn. This guy has so many good abilities here. It's kind of hard to decide on what you want to go with. Uh, as you can see, I kind of put a little bit on everything. But the ma the king is still the king, guys. Avalon is still number one for humanoids. So Avril uh, is one of those heroes that didn't really change too much, as you can see. Her abilities are pretty much exactly the same uh double cast they just changed the name there i think she's got her blizzard ice wall ice um nova all that kind of she's still pretty much just a magic dps hero um not that great she's not she's one of the best magic dps heroes in the game i'm saying she's not a great support hero um let's move on here let's take a look at Vega, exactly kind of the same, except now she's a little bit different, I completely forgot. Now, she has the ability to Priestess Mastery, so pretty much every hero is going to have one Mastery in the game, I feel like, eventually. So she's got the ability to boost up your Priestess. So if you are using Priestess, Saints, uh, and all them good healers, she's great as a support for them. Also, she still has her boosted healing. She still has favor of the gods. Now, look at this. This is insane, guys. This costs 5 mana. 
that is a lot that is a lot but it heals so much and continuously heals the whole you know what i mean your, all your troops for 10 seconds and then as you level up a lot more but it does cost a lot of mana you can pair up saving lives with elena there that helps out lots healing is pretty cool uh, if you combo boosted healing with the heal that's a really good boost so she's still very useful a pretty cool hero mana barrier is still really really good this one costs mana too so i mean it kind of feels like you use her in a bunch of you know in a few battles and her mana will be zero in no time so take a pick at what you're going to stack her up if you want her just to be your healer if you want her to be your support for your priestess if you want her to um you know do mana barrier and support you can go with uh, a lot of different options for her as well uh i'm going with my priestess mastery because i am humanoid so i'm using priestess all right all right you lich lovers let's take a look at gazul real quick now because gazul is one of the best lich heroes in the game if you are a lich fearsome aura works great with the undead um the undead have no moral so morale i'm talking about so you cannot decline so this is really really good i can't use this as a humanoid but as a lich you can definitely use this it's gonna help you out a lot believe me um so immortal strength is another one of support here over here he all allied undead units have their max hp uh increased by two percent four percent and so on and so forth so this is a great support school is courage is still one of the best attacks in the game but too bad it costs five mana to use which kind of blows now here's the catch with gazool the problem with him is if you are lich or if you are dwarf this guy is almost useless which kind of really blows uh this ability does nothing for you if you are human uh this one actually hurts you it doesn't even help you out you cannot use this as a human or a dwarf so those suck the only one that you can really use is this which costs a lot of mana but you can i guess you can just save them as your main attacker and just go with school curse to do a lot of damage but in my opinion i feel like he's all all about the lich guys lich is where gazool is obviously best at all right varian i think is still pretty much exactly the same uh as before still kind of the same thing he's got his uh swordsman mastery there as all the other support heroes now you can uh legionnaires they have their damage and their hp increase that's pretty cool crusader shield this is freaking pretty good man while varian is on the battlefield whenever whenever uh friendly troops get a morale boost they take 50 percent reduced damage now this is one of the best abilities in the game if you are um human man even dwarf this can be really useful for so wow that is pretty sick man if you can somehow get a nice little kill in the beginning there get morale boost reduce damage by 15 percent uh combo that with uh, alana's magic res the, the, we, we're talking about some pretty cool things here guys so um that's why i like varian that's why i'm going with that this one costs a lot of mana that's why i hate doing this one uh this is your basic ability 25 percent for him to deal 100 more damage and heal that's pretty good if you want to use them as a complete tank uh this one is a pretty cool ability if you're i guess using them as a tank like i said before right now i'm going all out with crusader shield and mastery of the swords i'm making my heroes all support guys all about support and the final hero that I have, guys, that I wanted to talk about really quickly is our boy Grimms, the Dwarven Master. This guy can do a lot more than just for dwarves. I mean, as a human right now, I'm um, going with uh, Suppressive Fire here to do a lot of damage to start the battle in the beginning. Siege Mastery. I'm going to use him as my complete Siege Master to help me with Siege because most of the other abilities here reload ammunition costs one energy. That is very costly, so I hate that, uh, but it's really good. For your tanks for all your dwarven stuff um this one again is for your tanks it's for your it's for all your freaking dwarven army they all need to re-up their ammo so those are useless tank mastery is useless to me smoke bomb is pretty good i can definitely use that so i will work on that a little bit later but as of right now siege and just your uh suppressive fire is the only two abilities i can use for grims so uh this guy is more of a dwarven you know hero as gazool is lich so you gotta find out which race you really go to that's kind of how you play the game guys find out your race and then choose the hero you want to really work on all right you don't need to work on all the heroes but you know working on the ones that are going to help your race out is definitely definitely crucial
Also, guys, now we have a leaderboard. The leaderboard is insane. As you can tell now, you can check out other players' power. My power freaking sucks. Well, I'm on a new server, so obviously. Uh, you can check out the people power from your kingdom. You can check out, you know, every kingdom in there. So there's a lot of different things you can do now. Uh, as you can see there, the number one player in the whole world, Legend27, is insanely good. Wow. 1.8 million power. That's crazy, guys. That power is insane, man. He pretty much destroying everybody, for real. So, yeah, I mean, uh, other than the leaderboard, the hero balances, the king, and um, just a bunch of different balances between the races. This update was pretty cool. I hope you enjoy it. Play the game now. Let's see what happens. We are going to try to take over now and destroy Radiant and try to get our houses back, all right? So, for now, I'm out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the update. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!